again. So today we are talking about a lens that is being forgotten by a lot of photographers and so called it's a very bad lens and it's a cheap lens. But actually for this kind of lens that I have here actually it's not not to say it's bad or very worse just because it's quite an outdated lens and the last production of this lens is roughly around nine uh, 20, 20, 2000 and something like that so I forgot about it but the lens that I will be introducing you to today is this lens is Canon 35mm f2 you can ask me why uh, I'm not using 1.4 lens but I'm buying f2 lens it's because this f2 lens has a very strong characteristic on it so I can, can see here this is a 35mm f2 so this 35mm f2 is very unique and it's very big ruggedly this is very rugged lens although it's construction is a bit plastic here on the outside it's a very plastic lens but the inner is better view and a lot of element is a glass made so it's quite tough lens for the very old generation and if you're very curious about the result I can link some result here in this video this lens is actually is quite characteristic although it's a f2 lens but the details and the color contrast that produced by this lens is very super even though it opened up a wide open f2 it's producing quite a good stunning result and even though the f2 is not as bokeh or you will not able to use it as darker condition compared to the f1.4 version of the canon one but actually a 35mm you can create some dramatic with the 35mm comparative to the 50mm even though I'm a 50mm guy but actually I'm thinking that 35mm is very good for some unique composition shot let's say what kind of composition shot you will, and you will say that it will be like if you have a 50mm on side by side like here, the photo here inside you can see that photo is very very like focused on the person itself but if you start to use a 35mm on this situation it will feel very widened and then you have a bit of depth uh, not depth feel, it's more feel on the background and the subject itself so you have subject with the background inside the photos comparative with the 50mm which in the same angle you only have a focusing on the person itself very good for this lens but it only has it also has some kind of not to say the weakness but it's a lens character that you must be avoiding before you are, are understanding how to use the lens first of all if you're using this 35 this type of all the 35 in the market please make sure that your subject is in the center point itself example like this and this so if your photo is inside is a center then your cap, uh, your person uh, the subject itself won't be running away or distorted by the lens character as you can see if you put the uh, portrait mode in the portrait mode you can see the distortion on the head is starting a bit and then you make the head is a bit uh, wider bigger the head so to prevent that use the 35mm in the landscape mode landscape position or more on creating the subject with more of the background not to say you don't use it in portrait mode but I'm not encouraging use on portrait mode is because in a portrait mode you have a lot of distortion on the lens character itself so to prevent that kind of uh, distortion it's more advisable to use on the landscape mode and then lastly this lens is cost very very cheap I get it on the second hand market roughly around uh, a 900 no sorry 850 ringgit equivalent to uh, less than 100 US dollars for price for less than 100 US dollars for this kind of lens is remarkably really good and sharp even though the MF is very noisy 
G G G G that kind of noisiness, but uh, it's still tolerant for the photography mode, but not for video. If you are using this lens for video, Canon or want to have this lens for video, I advise to have to you to uh, make it a uh, manual focusing, or you are using a newer generation lens. This lens is quite not recommended for video mode, but it's very very good for photos which I'm more focusing on so that's the introduce of this lens today if you have any question you want to ask me regarding this lens uh, the character or uh, what kind of photos that I created even more with this lens uh, you can ask me for more detail in the description below so see you next time hope you enjoy your day bye